Good morning, traders. So we are still using the Bull Williams theory and looking at the Aussie, the South African top 40. So yesterday, my um, concern that we were actually going nowhere was uh, pretty true. We ended up with a range bar, which is also an inside bar. Now, the pretty much um, for most of the, the latter half of this month, it has been really indecisive, completely uh, directionless and just moving sideways. Okay, now one nice thing about this consolidation that's happening here is that the oscillator is now starting to fall off. So in other words, um, you, know, you can see the oscillator sellers coming in and the momentum is picking up ever so slightly to the downside, but not at a crazy rate. But it, what it does do for the oscillator is it just relieves some pressure that we can start seeing some bias step in lower down. Um, you'll probably see it on the lower time frames a little bit better. Yeah, you see there's a four hour. So we have a double bottom and we've got diversions here. So this is continuation diversions, potential continuation diversions. And if you take it from this level here, which is this low, so that's a low, high, higher low. This is a low, lower low, lower low. Okay, so we have pretty well-defined diversions here and normally when that happens you immediately look for a potential pattern and I will let's bring it right closer so that's almost a, a level and you'll see that you get a flat top triangle with reverse diversion so those two don't marry so with reverse diversion, I'd be looking for a wedge, sort of a falling wedge as a minimum, or even an inverse head and shoulders, which would indicate a, a continuation. Okay, so reverse diversions are always what I commonly refer to as continuation diversions. It's basically telling me that um, the trend is still to the upside. It, looking at the four hour, we've gone into the alligator. Alligator's gone flat. That is um, pretty much range and indecise indecision okay I'm going to delete those because we're going to put the levels in at the lower time frames and you can see that's exactly what it is one solid move to the downside pullback uh, rejection of the alligator alligator has gone flat which doesn't leave me with much confidence um, but we do have we are below the alligator so in saying that this area here is clearly a level. Okay, we could see a shoulder, a head, or even a double head with a shoulder. So this is looking like a potential move to the downside and targeting this gap as a start. But I think the bigger move will be okay, it's not, no, I guess exact enough will be down to um, so it looks like this inside tail here there's no inside tails here here is another one here which would be the most logical one so this area here of four seven four ten would be my most logical area and it's also the one hour 200 EMA will be somewhere in this zone by then as well. Okay, so at first glance, that is what I'm seeing is a potential move to second move to the downside. Now, I just want to measure this measured move and put that level in. Well, okay, so that's going to take us to the gap close pretty much. Okay, so. That's kind of my view of this at the moment. I think uh, there is distinct possibility that we're going to move to the downside. What you need to do, though, is watch out for these two fractal levels. So this fractal and that fractal. Okay, a break above this fractal here is going to give you a move to the upside, which could let this bigger double bottom, there's a neckline for the double bottom up there, could get that to play out. I somehow doubt it. I think the, the bears pulled, they tried hard to get it going here. They had a wedge 
there's a wedge there. They had a break out of the wedge, they had the retest of the wedge, and then we gapped lower, and then fold, sold off. So, you know, the wedge pattern has failed. Okay, and uh, all that's happened is that we formed a, a channel, a range. Okay, um, lastly, just let's do that. Just look at whether we do have a potential channel. There could be a channel forming. And what you'd have to do, just keep two parallel lines like that. And then you will more than likely find, not that one, but probably this one. So one of these two measured moves are going to play out. Okay, so that gives us a, a channel. Okay. So this measured move will play out. So that puts us pretty much near the gap. And then your gap close is going to be right on the channel. Uh, this dotted line is the, the day. So price will open in this area here. And then move to the downside. Well, that's what I'm anticipating anyway. So let's just look at what can influence the market today. Rand dollar, uh, 1383. So that came off a little bit from yesterday, um, but still relatively flat. 10 cent is down 1.5% at the moment, okay? So I'm anticipating a gap down. I'm anticipating us to sort of continue in this downward channel and more than likely close this bottom gap. And yeah, it's only, it's only gonna be around a 300 point trade, but that is what I see at the moment. Okay, so, so yeah. That's, uh, I suppose that's it for the, for the Aussie at the moment. Uh, just make sure there's nothing on the half hour. Um, I think what we can just have a look at quickly while we're here is did the uh, closing range breakout play out? Yes, it did. What was the target? The first target was pretty much that. And you can see we hit that pretty spot on with this bar and then we had a little bit of extension below it and a rally. So you can also apply the same logic for today. There's my last hour of trading. If we get a break below this, that's going to validate this uh, pattern and have some confidence that my stop will be up here to remove the downside. Okay, so that's that. Let's just have a last look at the Ichimoku Okay, half hour, nothing really much. It is bearish at the moment, but we are in the cloud and in between Kijits and Tigginson, and that indicates range. So the last couple of hours of trading was a range. Um, the one hour, we've had a bearish crossover, and we've come back to test the break of Kijitson and Tigginson. So Tigginson's pointing to the downside. I'd like Kijitson to follow, but that may very well happen. If we get a break of the cloud, we've got a bearish, we've bearish show set up coming up. This is bearish as well. Chico span has broken through. Just a cloud that is still bullish. Um, the four hour, you can see we're starting to roll over. This is uh, what some people call a C-clamp. So it's straight and then the Tigginson is rolling over towards Kijinson and then you get a crossover. That is a, a bearish setup happening. Okay. Um, the oscillator doesn't agree, but um, that is a setup. And we are so far from Kijinson at the moment. So we have broken through the cloud. I would expect a pullback to come and test this cloud. So a fairly deep pullback, in other words, on the daily before finding a base. And that is going to be a, an entry for a long, which is going to give you a, a long-term setup, you know, like this. Okay. But still, still many days to go before that happens. Okay. The... The other thing is that we are getting a twist in the cloud here. So this has gone green, so bullish. That crossover there was bullish. Um, this needs to get through the cloud here, and then that's bullish. So I want to see a pullback, a really deep pullback in actual fact, uh, before I get in long again. Okay, so that's it for me this morning. Um, let's get back to the billy and back to the hop hour. I'll just summarize what we need to do. We need to wait for a break, either up or down, 
of the closing range, last hour of trading. So the level to the upside is 48, 48.055, and the level to the downside is 47.910. Okay, break below uh, 47.910, anticipate a move to the downside, and work out your measured moves. Sorry, I see something else here. So that was my that could have been seen as the flag there, breakout, retest as well. Okay. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, biases to the downside, probably just for this gap close, though. I don't see anything serious happening. So just to move to the downside, pick up three or 400 points, and then probably look for a another entry to the long side. Um, off. worst case scenario will be, 47420. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Hope it helps, and I'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.